Hello everybody, welcome to Sweet Foot Me. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Um, I do not take your support for granted. Thank you for watching the other videos, for liking and for sharing them with somebody that might need it. So this month, I wanted to do something different and I've decided to um, do a YouTube takeover. So this will be week one of four. And the reason I decided to do this is because at the beginning of the year when I started doing this, I realized that there are some people that I want to meet up with and have conversations with, but due to lockdown, I'm unable to do that. So this is definitely the next big thing. So first up, we have Goko Linda, and she's just going to share some few thoughts from a grandmother's heart. And I think this is very vital at this moment and at this time. Um, it's very relevant because this weekend is going to be Mother's Day and we're celebrating Mother's Day. And mothers uphold the nation and they do so much for us, they definitely deserve to be appreciated. I do understand though that there are many people that it's Mother's Day is a bittersweet moment for them because they don't have their mother around for one reason or another. I just want to remind you that I'm with you, I'm praying for you and I understand and feel your pain. I may not understand it because it's something that I'm not going through, but I do stand by you and I am with you. And I just hope that this message from a grandmother's heart, a mother's heart, will be able to um, help in filling the void that you might have in what your own mother is not able to tell you at this very moment. With that being said, um, I hope you sit back, enjoy, share this video with someone that might need it. And yeah, let's let's do this. Speak to me, let's go. I'm Linda and I am Nketeka's Gogo. She adopted me as her uh, grandmother and I have all in all 15 grandchildren. She asked me to speak to you today um, and pass on some lessons from a grandmother. So here we go. Um, now my granny was a great sewer. She was a great seamstress. So I used to spend many hours um, sewing with her and she taught me that skill. But so as, as life passed on, she, as she passed on, she left me her sewing box uh, to remind me of some principles and some values that she taught me. Now, in order to get into this sewing box, which is a great treasure to me, um, I needed a key. And I want to say to you, the key into the treasure box of life is honor. So let's open, open the box and I'm going to show you some things, but let's talk about this key first. Um, first of all, we need to honor God in our lives, um, to honor him as our father and our loving father. What does it mean to honor? Well, first of all, it means to acknowledge. It means to give value. It means to respect. It means to give worth to, to appreciate and to encourage. And it begins with God, as I've said, but then to learn to honor one another because honor is a key that will open the door into people's hearts. Um, and spending time together says to somebody, you are valuable, you are worth spending time with. So that's honor. Now, I want to talk to you about three threads, some, some threads that I've got in my sewing box. And the first one is, is this uh, thread of gold, which represents faith. So, in the Bible, it actually, Paul actually speaks about faith that's been passed on from your grandmother to your mother, and now he sees living in Timothy. And so this faith was passed down to me. And, um, you know, first of all, we need to have faith in God to know that Christ dwells in our hearts. And that happens by faith. We have to believe, we have to trust, we have to depend on. And not only do we need to have faith in Christ, but we need to be faithful people and we need to be, um, to show faith in those around us, to believe in, um, my, my granny always believed in me. She always said, Linda, you can do it. You can sew that dress. And uh, you can, my father always used to say to me, 
you can do it, Linda. I know you can do it. And so that built faith into my heart and in fact released a, a real gift of creativity um, in me uh, with the time I spent sewing and the affirmation that was given to me. And now I want to speak to you about the next gift, which is the next thread, which is love. So that's the red one. And the Bible tells us in Ephesians, it says, I pray that you would know the height, the depth, the width, and the length of your love, Jesus. So we need to be rooted and grounded in God's love. And this love positions us in our identity. We need to know that we loved and we secure in that and that we can then love others in that same way that God loved us unselfishly with a giving kind of love and to see one another through the eyes of God's loving mercy. When we see one another through that, then it draws people um, to us and draws people together. I love to, to, when I talk about love, I love to talk about the ings, the doing things together, because that's how we experience each other's love. We can garden together, gardening. I love to garden with my grandchildren, to teach them how to plant flowers and vegetables and do all those kind of things. Um, I love, we love um, touching, tickling, um, cuddling, laughing, sewing, cooking, and just doing activities, playing ball games together. Um, I, I'm a very good soccer player, by the way. My grandsons have taught me that. So doing things together roots and grounds us in love. And then the final thread that I want to talk about is the thread of hope. Um, and, you know, hope is not wishful thinking, but it's based on the strong foundation of God's promises. So we need to get the Word of God in our lives so our hope can be an anchor for us during challenging times, that we won't be swayed and moved by um, situations, but that we know we can trust in God because we know His Word and it's in us. The Bible says that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly, more than all you could ask or think or even imagine. So I want you to be able to take those keys that I've given you, the key of honor, the thread of faith, the thread of love, and the thread of hope. Faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. God bless you. God has a good plan for you, one to prosper you and not harm you, but to bring you hope and a future.